Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. You know, with a rise in more powerful mobile phones these days, you can actually achieve a lot using your mobile phone. As a YouTuber or a filmmaker on budget, one of the tools you should never overlook is your smartphone. Investing in the right tools can actually give you the best results using your smartphone. Today, I want to show you one app that helps or gives you total control by your smartphone's um, camera, which is Filmic Pro. Filmic Pro actually helps you adjust the settings of your camera. Um, you can adjust the exposure, you can adjust the temperature, you can also adjust the focus and so on. So let's get into it and see what Filmic Pro is capable of. Filmic Pro is an awesome app that enables you to manually adjust the camera settings on your phone for best results. The app is available to both iOS and Android devices for a reasonable fee. The only thing to know is that the app doesn't support every Android device. So you should first download the Filmic Pro Evaluator app on Play Store to see if your phone meets the minimum requirements. Once the download is done, open the app and go through the properties to see which options is available or supports your phone. In this video, I already have Filmic Pro installed on my Huawei Y9 2019, which I'm going to use for the demonstration in this particular video. So let's go ahead and then take a look at what Filmic Pro is actually made of. So we have the app opened. Let's take a look at some of the options available with this particular app. So starting with the far right hand side, I have the sound level or the audio level. So we have some two bars, the left bar as well as the right bar. Now this helps us see the level of audio we're actually getting as part of our clip. And then when we come to the bottom, we have the record button. So in case we hit on this, it begins to record a clip. So let me just uh, tap on it back so that it stops recording. And then we have the play icon that allows us to play videos that we've actually recorded already. And then we have the settings icon, which we'll come back to it. And let me look at a few options available in there. So we realize we have the battery that shows the percentage of level of battery you have on your phone. So mine is running low, that's how come I have it red. And then we have the um, this particular icon is actually the, the amount of space we have remaining on this particular device or the device you'll be shooting with. And then we have the timer so that begins to read once we let me just um, go back from here this actually the clips i've recorded already so once we begin to um, record it actually starts reading so we get to know how long our footage has been so let me just tap on that again and then we have the frames at um, frames per second that you'll be recording your video so this is 30 frames per second and then we have the size of video so this is 1080p that's the maximum my phone can support and then when we come to the left hand side, we have this A icon here that gives us some other options that perform different functions, which we won't be looking at. And then when we come here, this particular scroll wheel gives us the focus wheel, as well as we have the exposure wheel. So once you're done, you tap on it, and then it goes back to the previous mode. And then there's the red color icons here as the temperature, the color temperature, so you can select any of the preset temperatures here or you can also um, adjust the temperature based on what works out best for you and once you keep tweaking it you realize the number here keeps changing so once you're done you just tap outside the um, temperature region and then it's actually going to go back to the previous mode so the big box here is actually our exposure and then the small box is actually our focus so in case you want to get to let's say the exposure to be able to tweak the settings of the exposure you tap and hold on the big box for some few seconds and then it opens the exposure wheel and if you want to do the same with the focus also you tap and hold on it for some few seconds and it gives you the focus wheel as well so in case you want to hide them all you have to do is to tap on the um, wheel and then it takes you back to what you had previously now you realize we have it and the color showing us red that means it is locked but when we tap on it, it becomes white and then in case you want to do this um, automatically and then once we have the perfect focus we tap on it and then it locks it the same thing for the exposure so once we tap on it it locks it for um it unlocks it and then once we have it um, focus whatever um ever we are actually focusing on or maybe want to tweak the exposure for once we have it done we tap on it and then it locks it for us let me just move this here a bit and then um so in case I want to focus on this region, all I have to do is to just move it there and I can do that automatically or I can use the help of the um, scroll wheel um, that is for the focus to be able to focus on that particular region. And once I'm done, I can just, um, let me just get it out and then 
I can continue and go ahead and record my clip. So now let's go to, uh, before we even go to the settings, this particular icon is the zoom. So we can zoom in and then zoom out using this particular uh, bar in here. Now let's go to the settings and then take a look at some few things available in here. So once we open the settings, you realize first on the list is resolution. So we can set the resolution of our clip. So we have the ratio, which are different ratio here, as well as we have the size now. For this particular device, which is the Huawei Y9 2019, the maximum size I have for my clip is 1080p. So if I go below, I have 720, as well as if I go below, I have 540. So that's the lowest I can go. And then the highest I can come is 1080p. And then looking at the quality, there are a couple of quality options available. So the highest is Filmmaker Stream. Now, if you select Filmmaker Stream, this is actually going to give you best of quality, but it's also going to um, take a lot of space in terms of on um, story size on your um, device has to be considered when you're actually going with this particular option and when you come back it says film quality which is also good um, the quality that gives um, this gives you is also best and then we have the standard quality which doesn't give you so much best quality and then we have the economy which saves you some um, space on your device and then we also have the video codec mode you want to uh, record at so let me just um, I think that's all for here. Let me just come back from this mode Next we have frame rate so based on what particular kind of footage you want to take We determine what frame rate you have to be working with so we have 24 25 30 all the way to 240 now This is going to be available based on the particular device you are using so for my device 30 frames per second is the highest I can go I can't go high um, above 30 frames per second and then we also have the playback and um, frames per second. You want to play back your shots uh, um, in a different um, frames per second, or you want to maintain that. So you can also adjust that. And then we also have the shutter. So we have auto shutter, and then you can also um, select through the options of shutter available here. And then for your frames per second, we have for standard, and then we have for time lapse. So in case you want to be taking a time lapse shot, you can select any of the frames um, per second available here, and then it's going to do just that for you so let me just come back from here and then the other options you might probably want to be or you might be interested in has to do with the audio so you get to tweak the audio settings here let me just go back here and then go to presets now presets allows you to save a particular settings that you've uh, configured on your phone so in case maybe the settings I have done here is something that I would want to be using from time to time I can go ahead and then save that particular preset and whenever I come to the app I get to select or come back to that particular preset and I use it let me just go back before you can get your presets um, um, saved you can you actually have to have an account with from pro so there's sync here which gets to sync your um, presets so you create an account with from pro and then once you log in and then you um, save your presets it's actually going to be saved to your account so whenever you are logged in on any device at all you can actually get to see the presets you have saved in there which is very very useful and then the other options available here is actually the guide this is very important based on what um, particular shot you're taking this helps you to have your rule of thirds or whatever implementation you want to go about with your guide so once you tap on it it becomes enabled and then um, so if it's faded it's actually not enabled once you tap on it it becomes enabled then you get to see it then there we have the touch so you tap on the touch you actually realize there's some kind of more brightness at the back or what I'm actually focused on so that's with the touch and then we have the camera this actually to switch to camera so whether to use the back camera or use the front camera now stabilization is actually if your phone has um, a stabilizer the inbuilt camera has a stabilizer so some phones has got um, inbuilt stabilization so if your phone has got once you tap on it you get to see a couple of options available with that one of my favorite options available with this but i think i'm running out of power but that's fine let me just uh, continue one thing i actually like about this app is that you can actually use it with some gimbal so when you come to the hardware settings the certain you actually have a couple of gimbals that you can actually record or use this particular device with so i actually own um, a cinema a movie cinema robot which one, if I have it powered on and have it, um, the device on it, I can actually turn it on and then it connects to movie and then I can um, go about controlling movie with the app or with the buttons I have available on movie, which is very, very cool. So I'll, I'll make a video on that very soon. I used to own DJI Smooth Mobile too, so I could use that with my 
um, Filmic Pro as well. There are a couple of other gimbals you can use with the, the, the app here. There's also CMS, which gives you some um, options to be able to, um, let's say, have some details of what particular production you're working on. So you get to enter the name of production, the scene you're taking, and then the number of take or the particular take you're taking here, which is very cool. So that's for the content management, which I find very cool. So in case you want to have it enabled, all you have to do is it on enable, and then you get to enter the details of it. So let me just um, turn it off. I think that's just basically about it. Information gives you um, what um, other options are available. So in case you want tutorials, where you can find tutorials, you want support, where you can find support. And then you get to see the latest build of the app as well as this user manual and then there's quick start guide. So in case you're new, you start with a quick start guide. It takes you around on um, what to, where to see what and um, how to go about the app. So let me just uh, come back and then I uh, think that's basically about it. So overview should give you information about what settings you have actually um, configured or what the, um, if it's the default settings you're using, you actually see those settings here and then in case you are not cool, you want to change anything, you can go ahead and then change that. So I think that's basically just about the app. There's more to it. Um, there's more of the settings we haven't covered, but because those are a bit advanced, we just want to stick to the basics in this particular video. So that's just about it. So I guess you've said it for yourself what um, Filmic Pro is actually capable of. You can change settings such as exposure, focus, um, color temperature, and so on. This is actually a very cool app that can help you use your smartphone or your mobile device into um, and turning it into a camera on it on being able to film very, very cool and high quality um, clips of footage that, that would actually help you in your going about your filmmaking or going about your YouTube videos. So that's it for this app. Um, there's more you can actually learn or see about um, this app. You can actually visit um, the Filmic Pro website and then um, get to see more about the app. So that's it for this video. In case you are new, all you have to do is to hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well. So anytime there's a new video, you actually get notified and then you get to see it. So thank you very much for watching. Once again, my name is Eshmo Lamte. I'll see you in the next one.